<laughs> oh my god. He's been watching the children for over an hour and has taken several photos of them. What type of world do we live in? going on everybody it's monkey boy blue coming at you with part three of this is the popo all right so we end the day and day four is coming up all right so we're going to shift b all right ropes pier to reveal his identity when the time is right we don't know who that man is yet. Feminist organization denied official registration. Uh, enemies using feminists to destroy Freebird. Alright, so let's go to work. Whenever I'm alone at home and there's a knock at the door, I always hope it'll be my wife, Laura. She's always forgetting her keys. Hello, my name is Steve, and you're Jack Boyd, is that right? <laughs> to get to my front door, the Bible boys walked about a mile from the local bus stop, jumping over mud puddles and skirting a couple of landfills. Laura doesn't go in for religion either, but according to her, these brave lunatics with their fake smiles deserve at least a minute of attention. She patiently yeah, listens to them asks them questions, regales them with pastries, and never once dropping a hint of condescension. When I watch her do it, I've got to admit it gets me. I'd have hugged those boys, sat with them on the porch, and lit up a cigar. But a month after Laura left, all I could do was quietly ask them not to bother me. Today I'm a little rougher still. Shut the door in his nose this time. Another couple weeks at this rate, and I'll be greeting anyone who comes close with my service pistol pointed towards the sky, ready to fire my warning shots. In my yeah, life, even the basic <laughs> stuff never goes like it's supposed to. Normally, when a wife is going to leave home, she'll make a scene, or at least sit everyone down for a serious conversation. But Laura just disappeared. The children in the stories always stand on the side of the mother, but... All three of our sons supported me. The in-laws always, always blame the husband for making their daughter unhappy. But now Sally, Laura's mother, well, we sort of have a pact. The fellow Laura ran off with is young enough to be her son. I hear he's 30 years old. Of all the possible information a man can know about his wife's lover, I get hit with that. Fortunately, Laura's mother doesn't like the way it sounds either. Sally figures this guy just thought he'd have some fun with a mature woman, but he'll be back chasing college girls before the year is out. So we have an agreement. Sally's going to track down Laura and try to reason with her, and we'll arrange a meeting. Meanwhile, I'm supposed to not do anything stupid, which of course means anything at all. It's a crazy situation. I'm the police chief, and the person I'm trusting to find my wife is an old woman armed with a phone book. But I can't afford to lose Sally as an ally. So for the moment, I had to swallow my pride. Yeah. You have to do that, sir. Hello. Mrs. Markham, this is Boyd. Oh, is there any news? That's what I wanted to ask you. Have you found anything? An address? Phone number? Have you spoken to her? Don't worry, Jack. I've narrowed the range to two suspects, or whatever you like to say at your police building. At my police building, we find people faster than a funny old woman chirping on the phone with my wife's girlfriends. Oh, you're an old man, Jack. Come to your senses. They'd give us straight odds on the street. But I've got more energy, Jack. Maybe you think I'm a foolish old woman, but I go to my book club, argue with the girls about Byron, and it gives me energy. I talk to my dogs, and it gives me energy. And you have nothing, Jack. You don't even have a hobby. You got no passion. It's why Laura left you. Let's not go back into that, Sally. Jeesh. Find my wife, and we can discuss my hobbies later. I'm waiting for your call, and my patience is running thin. Laura, if you've stopped loving me, I'll let you go. I can't expect the impossible from you. Just don't let me die out here, okay? Jeez, my heart. 
our life. All right, so shift B, and now I'll give this to someone like Purdy. You know, I always liked Purdy for some reason. She's a good woman. The Lego Purdy, there's your stripe. Um, so yeah, when he was talking about shooting his gun in the air as a warning shot, I'm glad I never got into any situation like that when I was working at uh, one of those door-to-door -door companies. Uh, homicide in the ghetto. So, so this is the first uh, detective mission. I'm going to put mole on it. And let's try to get this before it's too late. Destruction of property at the city hall parking lot. A member of the city's cleaning crew saw an elderly man approaching some expensive cars in the parking lot, carrying a long iron rod. The whole street could hear him shouting, Bastards! Thieves! Bloodsuckers! Alright, this guy is definitely crazy. Purdy and Cochise, don't let me down. Oh my god, fire all black cops. A racist gang has recently made some trouble in the city. They're capturing black townsmen and beating them to death. They recently sent a message to the local radio station promising to kill all black doctors, firemen, and police. We don't need any more dead police, especially... I mean, we don't need any more dead people in general. Uh, especially not mere months from... Be, uh, I'm sorry. Not mere months before the election. The racists are gaining more and more followers and even some of our uh, citizens support them seriously this is how life is in real life uh you'll have to fire all black employees over the next two days due to mounting racial tension oh that's jacked up man i'm not gonna do that i got two black cops that's austin and stone val and as, as far as i'm concerned the game won't end if i just don't don't fire them. Because I like Austin. She's cool. I like Austin. And Stone Val is like the best on the other team. So I'm not going to do that. Should I do that? I don't know. But over the next two days, there should be like one or two more videos before that happens. So if you think I should, let me know in the comments. If you think I shouldn't, then let me know in the comments. And uh, you have a big debate about it. All right, so the carjacking, a gas station surveillance camera recorded the car that's on the stolen vehicles list. I send Yancey, Subaki, Asano, and Austin. Should I? Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of scared, so I'm going to go ahead and send Floris and, uh... All right, yeah. Can I... Can I fire her, Price? Because she, she's old. I don't think we need any old people. Alright, so this is what we got so far. Alright, so here are my clues. Mr. Graham. Eric Graham, a drunken witness. They drove by in a sedan and they, they, sh they shot like a machine gun. I didn't see much. You probably didn't see much of anything in the last couple of hours, you drunken bastard glenn clayton neighbor i only heard a few muffled shots mr carr lawrence carr neighbor he got out what he got what he deserved he's been causing trouble for a long time and recently there's been lots of cursing and carrying on stacy cobb a witness i don't remember the car and the neighborhood was quiet i never heard any shots Mm-hmm. Daryl Carpenter is also a neighbor. The police these days don't do nothing. I almost died myself. I went to buy some medicine and was nearly hit by some idiot's car. Jeez, okay. Well, I don't know the man personally, but I don't think that anyone deserves to die. Good job, Purdy and Cochise. I'm sorry, Cochise. I'm sorry I'm keep calling you Cochise, but I'm going to keep calling you Cochise, Cochise. Alright, so I don't know if you guys know about my situation, but my mic is not that close to me, and it kind of hurts my back. Oh, Lord. Okay. 
Wait, is that still going down? Oh, no. Okay. The driver is nowhere to be seen. Interview. Uh, interview any potential eyewitnesses. Wait at a safe distance for the drivers to appear. Search the car. I don't know what the police officers would do in this predicament, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wait. <gasps> Good. Let's wait for him to come back. I don't know if they could have even searched the car. It might have been a bomb in there or something, man. I'm not gonna just rush up in there. A suspicious individual, Corey Ramsey's mother of several children, has expressed her corners about a suspicious, a suspicious man wearing bifocals seated on a bench beside a playground <laughs> oh my god he's been watching the children for over an hour and has taken several photos of them what type of world do we live in all right so purdy and coaches is back so i'm gonna go ahead and send out purdy and uh austin on this note um Okay, yeah, police station. Can I fire her? Do, oh, first of all, I need to check to see if I need to switch any of... Okay, yeah. So I have four of these guys over here. And I want to switch him maybe to... Yeah, move the shift A. He's pretty old. So it was C, I think. Or maybe he just has stress hair. Like, you know, his hair is white because of stress. Um, yeah, so I want to fire, uh, where are you at? Yeah, Price, because she's, she's pretty old. And I think you can do that legally, so, hey, why not? Let's try to pick up a better cop. You know, someone who's not that old. All right, well, George Crombie is pretty, <laughs> he looks pretty old, but I'm still going to hire him anyway. Let's hi we're on B-shift, right? Yeah, so, bada boom, bada bang. That's all I can do for now. He's got a bigger, yeah, I mean, he's got more stars than Price does, so. At this time, he's going to be a little bit better. Uh, Mr. Boyd, I'm opening Freeburg's first martial arts club. And for my first expedition, I want to hold a sparring match where one of my students takes on the toughest cop. I'm, gonna, I'm just laughing because I'm going to send Price out there. <laughs> this old woman is going to be sparring. Um, after the fight, I'll teach your man a few tricks something that will help him out on the streets oh no then maybe i'll send kochi if i teach if if price gets taught anything it won't matter because she's getting fired oh okay good sometimes i always get like weirded out by that stuff like how do i know that my people weren't get uh weren't about to get shot or something or weren't already shot or a civilian shot or something, you know. Okay, so here we go. We got um, more for the case. He drove a sedan, shot like a machine gun. They drove by in a sedan. These aren't the same color. None of these are the same color. Uh, and they shot like a machine gun. I didn't see much. So that's all I can do for now, I suppose, because these aren't the same color. And this is a truck. So, hey, I'll leave that at that for now. All right, Kevin's throat bar. What the heck? What type of name is that? All right, a fight broke out. A bartender reports that a couple of dancers starting, started fighting over tips and a cat fight broke out right on stage. All right. Let's send Flores and, uh, and Tsubaki. Wait, didn't I send her for something else? Did she already come back? I could have sworn I sent her to that mission to do sparring. Um, a bartender reported that a fight has broken out between a, a patron and a oh, and the bar's bouncer. The man, apparently drunk, has climbed onto the stage while a local singer was performing and tried to sing a duet with her. I, f I completely forgot that I was telling a story. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, I'll tell you the guy. I'll tell you the story. So, well, it's not really a story. It's just an explanation or something like that. Just, just something to pass the time. Wait, chief, I just about got nailed. Uh, nailed that Jap a couple times, but he was too fast for me and one on points. I didn't really understand all the rules, so I 
can't keep track of points very well. I can't keep track of points very well, but he was all right. He even showed me a few tricks after the match. I got carried away a little and pulled my back. Think I can take the day off? I mean, that's not even a real question. You have to take the day off at this point. I, I It's so weird to see them darkened out like that. I thought she quit. Oh, yeah. So I was working at this place where you're, you're basically... Uh, going door to door and stuff and i never had any problems with like i did honestly people did shut the door on my face a couple times or laughed at me but you know that's just part of the job you know you're gonna get nose and and stuff like that but yeah luckily i never got anyone with a gun come to the door or anything and shoot in the air that would have been scary all right so on stage our two strippers going at it and it's gone beyond arguing to the full to a full-on cat fight. The bouncer is fast asleep. Clearly too wasted to handle the situation. The drunken, the, blah, blah, the drunken patron, patrons are happily watching the fight. Of course they are. They would enjoy stuff like that. Draw your service weapon. Listen, girls. Cut the crap or this is going to get serious. I think it already has gotten serious. I think you would just run up there and try to stop the fight. Just draw your weapons, right? Okay, they still didn't listen. The strippers continue fighting, obviously uh, oblivious of the police's presence. Um, I asked the bartender for a bucket of water and throw it on the combatants. Uh, watch strippers go at it and don't interfere. That's terrible. Step onto the stage and try to separate the girls. Throw some water on them. Boom in your face. I'm not going to lie, I do remember some of these, and I did do a good job last time, so why not just pick the same stuff? You know, it worked last time, so hey. Alright, so I think this is the end of the day, so that means this is the end of the episode, guys. Um, what I like to say, what was I going to say? Um, I think I was going to say something about the debate. Uh, should I fire the cops? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I have to fire the cops in like two more days or one more day now. Um, so do you think that I should fire them or should I keep them on the force? Just let me know your guys' thoughts. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Can you like it? Let's try to get at least like five likes. And uh, I'm still trying to reach that goal of 500 subscribers. So please, guys, can you help me out? Tell your friends and family what's going on here. And I would definitely appreciate it. And um, subscribe for more episodes just like this. And I will see you in the next video.